I'm Izzy and this is Dizzy Quilts and Sews. In today's video, I will talk to you all about my plans for August 2022. You'll notice that little bear is over in the sewing room today, so hopefully he's not going to be misbehave too badly and I can actually get through the filming of this video uh, without too much interruption. But let's get right into my plans for this month. So I have six projects on the list this month. So considering that I'll be off for two weeks and that I have no big plans for that vacation except going to the cottage a few days here and there and maybe a day trip here and there, I should be able to get these six projects done without too much difficulty. So yeah, let's jump right in. So number one, um, I'm going to make a chambray set with the Ashton Top by Helen's Closet and the Belize Shorts by Itch to Stitch. Now I've made both patterns before. I know they fit me. So this should be a pretty easy and straightforward make. You've seen this fabric before. I'm going to use the embroidered chambray that I got in the I think this was in the May Beyond the Pink Door uh, Think Pink subscription box. Wow, that's a mouthful. So I have two and a half meters here. I ha should have enough to make the Ashton and the Belize. I will use a cream colored or white viscose for the um, all-in-one facing for the Ashton so that I don't have to use this. So yeah, this is... This should be a pretty cute set for this, for the remainder of the summer. But I can also wear the top with jeans or with my white pants. And I can wear the shorts with a white t-shirt or a navy t-shirt or even a pink t-shirt. That would be really cool. So yeah, project number one is going to be a set um, with this beautiful chambray fabric. Project number two is a hug hoodie for my daughter. Now I've made three of these hoodies for myself. And the last one I made in a white French terry with navy um, bands, my daughter absolutely loved. So she asked me if I wouldn't mind making one for her. So uh, we went through my stash together, her and I, and we found two remnants so two pieces that total about a, a meter and a half. Um, this is a cotton bamboo fleece that I bought from Blackbird Fabrics in one of their remnant sales. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Like the color really doesn't come through on camera. Um, it is super soft. It is, it's got a fleece back. So this will be perfect for the chillier August evenings and take her into the fall and winter. So I'm going to put a white contrast band at the bottom and probably at the cuffs as well. And hopefully I'll have enough fabric to make her the hoodie. So yeah, so that's plan number two. Now I've not made the hug hoodie in a size other than mine. So I'll have to see what size I need to make for her. Um, but I do know how to sew it. I've made it, like I said, three times now. So this should be fairly quick and easy. So that's project number two. Project number three is going to be a Kinetin, Kinetin dress by Cashmeret. So this was the Cashmeret Club pattern for June, I think. Not sure, but a recent one. Um, and it looks so pretty with the v-neck and the sleeves and the elastic, simple elastic waist. Um, I think it'll make a really cool um, dress for a party I have or an event I have in August uh, where it'll probably be warm still. So a short sleeve dress will be great. And to make this dress, I'm going to use this 
viscose poplin that I got from Blackbird. Yes, from Blackbird Fabric. I've got three meters of this and the Kinetin dress calls for three meters, so I should have more than enough. It's nice and lightweight. It's got drape, but it's, it's also got some body to it because of the poplin. I think this will be stunning in a dress. And because the Kinetin, actually, I think it's got a, a seam down the middle, but maybe I can cut it on the fold. Anyways, I'm going to play around with this. Again, I've not made the Kinetin yet, so I will have to muslin it. And I'm going to try and get that done this week. Um, like during the first week of the month because, like I said, I have a party to go to and I'd love to wear this dress to the party. Um, the fabric is a little sheer. I mean, it's not... It's not totally see-through and I mean if I wear flesh tone like my flesh tone colored underwear it should be fine if not I can just wear a slip with it so that's project number three a kinetin dress in this gorgeous viscose poplin from Blackbird Fabric project number four um, it's going to be a fun one, I think. So a few months ago, and actually right around the time that I discovered his channel, Adam from Adam Sews um, recorded or filmed a tutorial to make some slippers for, uh, based on a pattern by Stitch Upon a Time. So it's they're called Midnight Slippers, and they are so cute. So I want to try and make myself a pair of these slippers. And if they work out and if I like them, I'm going to make a bunch of them in different sizes and have them at the front door for when people visit in the winter because I like my house very, very cold. Um, I don't deal well with the heat and especially when I'm going to bed so to sleep, I like the house very cold. But most of our children and grandchildren complain that Papa's house is so cold in the winter. So I'm going to make a bunch of slippers and just leave them in a basket at the front door. And when they come in, they can just put on the slippers and I have quilts all over the house. They can wrap themselves in quilts. So that's the plan for August. So I'm going to use this. Um, I think it's a little less than a half yard. It's probably a, th a third of a yard from this Robert Kaufman fabric. It's a quilting cotton. And I'm going to use, I don't know what I'm going to use for a lining, but instead of fleece, the pattern calls for fleece for the inside. I have this thick, it's almost fleece, but it's not. It's like a sweater knit. Um, I made a cardigan for my grandmother out of this. It's really nice and soft. Um, I think it'll be nice on the inside of slippers. And the two fabrics go well together. So I think this will be a really cute pair of slippers. So I'll make one and my bathrobe is gray, which is fabulous. So it's all going to match. So I'll make a pair for me as my prototype. And like I said, if it works out, I'll make a few of these for when the kids and the grandkids come and visit. The pattern is available in a bunch of adult sizes as well as kids sizes. And if I remember correctly, the pattern is only $5. So yeah, very, very cute. I am going to watch Adam's tutorial again to make sure I don't mess this up. But yeah, I think this will be a really, really fun project. Next is going to be a top for me, a Cedar Dolmen top by Cashmeret. I've met this, I've made this pattern once before. Love the fit, or I've made it twice actually. Love the fit. Um, very simple dolman sleeve with a seam down the front. Um, it hits me right at the right height with the adjustments I made. It's, yeah, it's got a nice round collar. So I think, and it can be ma made with woven or knit fabric, which is kind of cool. And I'm going to use my June fabric from the Beyond the Pink Door Think Pink box. 
I really wasn't sure what to make with this fabric. I mean, I absolutely love it. I have a meter and a half, which should be enough to make the dolmen, the cedar dolmen. Um, and because it's grown on sleeves and I really don't have to put the seam down the front, like the stripes will be uninterrupted and will be easier to match, I think, so that I won't need, yeah, I think a meter and a half should be enough to make that top. Now in the pattern for this top, there is a facing at the neckline. I'm not gonna put the facing in. Instead, in the box, we got this great knit um, bias binding got three meters of this. So I'll just use this for the neckband. And that should work. That should work just fine. So I'm excited because in August, I will use my June and my May fabric from the box because the July fabric is about to get here. It was shipped last week. <laughs> And I really want to use this fabric as it comes. I don't want to hoard any of it. Um, I really, and yeah, I've seen the YouTube unboxing, so I know it's coming and it's going to be a gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. So yeah, so I'm going to make these two this month so that I can do the July, um, the July fabric in the beginning of September, hopefully. So that's the next project a cedar dolman by Cashmerette in this gorgeous stripey fabric. And the final project for August um, will get started in August, probably not finished in August, but I'm putting it on the list. It's going to be a baby quilt for um, our nephew who's expecting his first little baby. So the baby shower uh, is taking place on October 1st. So I basically have all of August, all of September to put this quilt together, which is perfect. And I thought I would use, like I'm not gonna use a pattern. I'm gonna use some very, very simple blocks and put the baby quilt together. Now, I don't know the gender or the sex of the baby. Um, it might be revealed at the shower, I'm not sure. But anyway, I'll, I'll just pick fabrics that are pretty gender neutral and hopefully they will like that. So I've decided I'm also gonna film my process of planning my fabrics, planning the quantities I'll need, and then the cutting, the piecing, the quilting, and all of that jazz. So you've seen me do that on little mini quilts, and now I'm gonna do it on a baby quilt. So if you wanna follow along, um, the first video is going to come out at some point in August where I'm going to talk through the plan, the, the blocks we'll use, how much fabric to get, and which quantities to cut. And then you'll have about a month to get all of that done and all of that ready, and we'll start piecing in September. So if you want to come along for the ride and make a baby quilt with me, it's going to be a really easy design a beginner quilter can definitely pull it off. So I would love for you to join me. It's gonna be fat quarter friendly. So if you have a few fat quarters in your stash and really who doesn't, then you can um, take part, part in this little quilt along with me. And those are the only um, structured plans <laughs> or planned projects I'm putting on the list for August. There may be more here and there. I tend to get distracted and, you know, a new pattern comes out or a new little crafty thing comes out and I immediately want to make it. For example, when I bought the Midnight Slippers pattern, I got um, an email from Stitch Upon a Time where she has a free little makeup bag pattern if you subscribe to her newsletter. So yeah, I probably will make one of those. <laughs> so yeah. Now, the, um, those of you who've watched my recent video, so last Friday's Friday Sews, might have noticed that on my list for August is not a bathing suit. And I had promised myself I would make a bathing suit in, um, like actually this week, so that it's ready for my vacation in August. 
but I went to bed Friday night after filming the video and putting it out there and I decided that I really wasn't sure I want to make a bathing suit or that I want to make that bathing suit. So I love the fabric I got, but I'm not 100% sold on the patterns I picked and the fabric really was not inexpensive. So I don't want to end up with a bathing suit I don't like or will never wear. Also, summer's almost over. I mean, let's face it, we're in August. Um, and although I will have two weeks vacation in August and we will go to the cottage, in August, the nights get really cool. And so the water in the river also cools down considerably. And it's never really warm. So I don't know how much swimming I'm going to do. And thus far this summer, all of the swimming I've done, I basically wore shorts and a tank top. And that's been perfectly okay. So, yeah, so I've basically scratched the bathing suit off the list for this year. And what I'm going to do is next spring... I'm really going to do some research and find a bathing suit that I think I will love, do a muslin of it, and then make a final bathing suit early enough that I have it for the whole season. So, yeah, so no bathing suit for me this year. And that will be it for me today. Those are my plans for the month of August. I'm really excited about them. I'm excited I'm going to be using the Beyond the Pink Door fabric that I've received. I'm excited about that dress, the Kinetin dress. I mean, I love cashmere patterns. You might have noticed that by now. And I think that dress is going to be, hopefully it's going to be a successful one. So yes, so let me know which one of my plans you are most looking forward to seeing. And if you'll be taking part in my little quilt along, I promise it's going to be very relaxed, very slow paced and very easy to put together. And I would love for you to take part. So let me know in the comments. If you have any questions about it, also please put them down in the comments. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you are having a wonderful week. Please like the video on your way out if you liked it and consider subscribing to the channel. That would be awesome. Thanks again and I will see you soon.